With the regular season wrapped up, it's time for playoff season, but not before the annual CUNYAC basketball luncheon here at Giando on the Water in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Both the John Jay men's and women's teams had representatives, and they made the program proud. Let's take a look at today's highlights. After completing their best regular season in seven years, the John Jay women's basketball team had two conference all-stars. By compiling three triple-doubles and the first quadruple-double in program history, Niasha Howard received a first-team honor for her breakout senior year. Meanwhile, reigning Rookie of the Year Katie Healy was also named a first-team All-Star as she averaged a double-double in her sophomore campaign. Um, just shows how our work pays off and um, we get the recognition for it. Um, I think that now that we know like we've been playing with each other more than one year now, so now we've come together. We're excited to see like where we uh, end up in playoffs. So. It feels really good to just get recognized for everything that I do and what I contribute to the game of basketball. Uh, it means amazing. It means like we put John Jay on the map. So now people are recognizing us, they recognize us, the they recognize that we are a force in the CUNY conference. I felt like a mom was sitting there taking a video, um, sent it to the whole team already just to make sure that, you know, they are recognized not only by, by their peers, but by their teammates as well. On the men's side, Doug Levy continued to add to his trophy case as he became the first Bloodhound to win CUNYAC Player of the Year since Hall of Famer Jamar Harry did so in the 2012-2013 season and he's the first Bloodhound to score 1,000 points and collect 1,000 career rebounds. Uh, it means a lot to me, obviously. It's great to be recognized by my peers and my coaches as the, the player of the year, but this isn't possible without uh, the culture that we created and the teammates that I've played with that have uh, created the winning culture, for sure. Kind of just very suspenseful. Um, obviously, you know, a lot of great players before me and could have easily went to Jason, could have went to any other player in the first team. Um, just really honored to, to be named player of the year. In his lone season with John Jay, senior Jason Brower took home a first-team nod after averaging 16.7 points per game and finishing top 10 in nine of the conference's statistical categories. I was just really uh, honored and grateful to be in this position. Um, I'm just thankful to have my coaches, my friends, my family, all their support, and it just shows my hard work that it finally paid off. I'm really proud of them. You know, just for each individual, they've grown so much as a person throughout the season, and me being a part of that is something great. Kyle LaGuardia finished off his season with a second-team All-Star selection. The Smithtown native broke out in his junior year by finishing first in the conference in field goal percentage, second in offensive rebounds, and fifth in blocks. It's truly just a blessing, and I'm so glad I got to be in this position, and I'm so happy for my team and all my teammates that got awards tonight and everyone else that it was an honor. This is such great. This is great. Ryan Highland took home CUNYAC Coach of the Year honors as he guided the Bloodhounds to its best season since the 1984-85 season as John Jay finished with a 20-5 overall record and 13-1 and record in conference play, their best CUNYAC win percentage in school history. I'm, I'm proud, I'm happy, I'm humbled, uh, and I don't mean to say it that way, but um, it wasn't something that was going to reflect upon our season one way or the other for us. Um, I'm happier that, that they got the recognition that they deserve. Um, I'm happy that our team finished in first place. I'm happy that we have a bye and we don't have to play till Tuesday. Um, and in the coach of the year stuff, I'm happy for our, for our staff. To look at what they have done, uh, as you say, academically, athletically, um, you know that they're representing John Jay in the best traditions of John Jay. What is our, our motto? It's fierce advocates for justice. And I think that they are fighters on the court, they're fighters off the court. We have two young ladies who are both scholar athletes. We have uh, the player up there who is also a scholar athlete. So, you know, you can, you can use those folks as examples of what's the best of John Jay athletics.